Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy skirt. And you can make it any size, you can make it any length. So let's get started. The skirt is worked from the top down. So we're going to start up here. I'm working with Red Heart Worsted Weight Yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to start with a foundation chain that wraps around your hips at the largest part. Okay, after you have your foundation chain the correct length, you're going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. So slip stitch to join in that first stitch. And you'll have a circle like this. Chain three. One, two, three. And that takes the place of a double crochet and a chain one space. Now you're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pull the yarn through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. Chain one. Yarn around the hook, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip, double crochet, and you're going to repeat that all the way around. So chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around, and this is the waistband, and don't worry if you don't have an extra stitch there, because this is all going to be compressed at the waist when you're wearing it. So, I've made my last double crochet, I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to come to this first chain three, and in the second stitch, I'm going to slip stitch to join, like that. And that is here at the waistband. And to wear it, you can either pass a chain cord like this through it, or you could pass some elastic. So now I'm going to chain two, one, two. That takes the place of a double crochet. Now I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So that means double crochet in the stitch of the chain one space and in the actual double crochet. And when I do my double crochet in my chain one space, instead of working like this in that opening, that would make it kind of bulky if I did that. I don't want it bulky around the waist, so I'm going to actually work into the stitch of that chain one space. So let's do that again. In the double crochet, I'll make a double crochet, and in this space, I'll make another double crochet. So double crochet in the double crochet, double crochet in the stitch of the chain one space like that and you're going to do that all the way around okay i worked all the way around there's my last double crochet there's my chain two for my first double crochet and i'm going to slip stitch to join in the very top here right there slip stitch to join to do the next row you would simply chain two double crochet in every stitch all the way around and I worked three rows of double crochet. You could work as many rows as you like. And then I started with my pebble stitch and I worked alternating rows of color. Okay, I'm going to attach my new color and I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to single crochet in this first stitch. And that chain one is not going to count as a stitch. So to do the pebble stitch, you work a single crochet and a double, a single and a double. So yarn around the hook, insert into the next stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pull it through two, and pull it through two. In the next stitch, make a single crochet. In the next stitch, double crochet. Single crochet. Double. Single. Like that. And you're going to do that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I've ended with a single crochet and I have a single crochet here so I need a double crochet so I'm going to yarn around the hook and just squeeze it in anywhere if you don't have an extra stitch so end with a double crochet and then you're going to slip stitch to join in that first single crochet 
And now to do the next row, you're always going to be working the opposite. So this was a single crochet, and this is a double crochet. So this row will have to begin with chain two, and that will take the place of a double crochet. Now this is a double crochet, so I'm going to single crochet. Double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next. Double crochet. Single crochet. So I just continue to work the pebble stitch in this manner. And I'll show you in the actual skirt. There's my rows of double crochet. I did two rows in my contrasting color, and then I worked four rows in my main color. So you can repeat that as many times as you would like. And then down here at the bottom, I made three rows of V stitches. So I'm going to move right along and show you the three rows of V stitches. Okay, to make my V stitches, I'm going to attach my yarn in any stitch, and I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and that will take the place of a double crochet and a chain one space. And I'm going to double crochet in that same stitch. And that will be my first V stitch. So now I'm going to yarn around the hook and I'm going to skip the next two stitches and I'm going to make a V stitch in the next stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now I have two V stitches. Skip the next two stitches, make a V stitch in the next stitch. Double, chain one, and double. Like that. And you're going to make V stitches all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. And when you get close to the end of the row, check to see if you have six stitches left. And I don't. I have one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to make that last V-stitch in the center of this area. So I'm just going to go into this stitch and complete my last V-stitch. So just adjust at the end so that you can have a V-stitch centered in that last little space. And then I'm going to come to my first V-stitch and it was a chain three. So I'm going to slip stitch to join in the second stitch, one, two, so that I'll still have a v-stitch there at the end. So for each additional row of your v-stitch border, you're going to slip stitch into the chain one space. And then you're going to complete your first v-stitch, which is chain three, takes the place of a double and a single, double crochet in that same chain one space. So you're working in the chain one space of the v-stitch and you're making a v-stitch. So you'll do that all the way around. You'll find the next chain one space right here and make a v-stitch, double, chain one, and a double, like that. So for the border, you work a V-stitch in every chain one space of every V-stitch all the way around. And you can make as many rows as you like of this border, so your skirt can have as large a border as you would like. And on my skirt, I work three rows, one, two, three. And that's it, that's how easy it is to crochet this skirt, any length, any size. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.